If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. This horse shit is away. Let's see what we have on menu today. This will be a slightly longer video, folks, because I have a lot and lot to cover. I'll start with some of the projects that I'm doing ambassadorial work on. We'll have some news, not the news that every crypto YouTuber is, is showing you, just the news which I think is really, really important for you to know and be aware of. Then we're gonna look at some of our old pick which has just performed sensationally. It is from stock market, but if you are a day trader, it will be paradise for you when, when you will look at the chart and the volume. And we will finish off with, with a research I have been doing for last one week. As you all know, I'm only your weekend YouTuber, so I condense all of my week's work into one video. So before I start, smash that like button, hit the bell notification, and subscribe. I don't have any dead bodies in my closet. Whichever companies I'm working uh, as ambassador, they are listed here. What is most important message is, do your own research or you will lose all money on you and you will never get rich if you blame anyone but you if you lose money. This is the first piece of advice I have to give from this channel. Some of the comments have been very, very negative. I just want to ask you guys, do you want an honest declaration? A person who tells you everything? Versus there are so many personalities that will not tell you ever anything and they will be shilling the projects. Those messages have no impact on me. I am a very, very strong personality. Again, a reminder, if you lose money and you blame it on someone, you will never, ever get rich. I had to get that off my chest. The first project uh, on which I am ambassador is, is Moon. I've been trying to raise money for them to Empire Discord, uh, how to invest in seed funding. This was not about just Moon. This was actually how you can participate in seed funding in many, many other projects. I have at least 20 different projects where I am a seed investor. Only thing I need is one project, one project to succeed and I will be sorted because you get in early. Imagine getting into the likes of Google and Amazon so early. So this is what uh, the combination of sardines can do. Let's say if you have 50 members in that type of VC groups, all 50 members put in $1,000 each, that's $50,000. That's a lot of money. And every new company that is starting, even if it is a good company, will listen to people who can at least put in 50,000. So that is the motivation there. We are not whales, but we are small sardines. And these small sardines, when they join together, they can become a big whale. So please have a watch of this video. Uh, in, on top, if you watch that video, there is a chance that you can win $100 worth of crypto in the bear market. And that, if it does 10x, that might be worth $1,000 in few months time. Who knows? Not financial advice. This competition will end tomorrow. So please, uh, if, if you want to enter, follow me on Eat Healthy Get Rich. Uh, scroll down to this tweet. There are a few tasks. I'm giving away $100, so <laughs> there are a few tasks you have to do. And if you do, then you will be entered into a draw. A person who performs all tasks and uh, gives the best comment will win. The second project uh, I'm an ambassador on uh, is called Echelon. It's a project actually I found a long time ago and probably there was no one else other than me talking about it. We were getting around 3000% APR in one of the osmosis pools. And the way I found this project was I was heavy into FMOS. So I was looking for something as a hedge to FMOS. Unfortunately, the developers had pushed an upgrade and not all validators upgraded. So the chain was halted for many, many weeks. It is quite decentralized. Uh, all 28 validators had to update at the same block height. Put simply, all validators had to update the software. Many of them didn't. I think when you realize, oh, I'm not actually able to make rewards, then they come to the Discord and then they find out they have to update to a new software. Uh, long story short, the chain was halted for many, many weeks. As a result, they have this has created a lot of issues, but the developers are working very, very hard. All 28 validators are back online and yeah, the chain has started. Unfortunately, devs are still fixing the IBC issues. Uh, I would say keep an eye on this project. It is at the bottom. I invested my own money. I'm also an ambassador here. There is no point, at least for me, to sell. And if any one of you bought because of me, 
Again, I would say, let the devs do their job. Let's see what happens. And let's see if the devs can uh, revive this chain to its full potential. I know I can uh, tell you that they are working on implementing verifiable random function. What it will do is basically it will allow resettable zero knowledge proofs. It will provide updatable uh, zero knowledge databases. It will also prevent attackers from tampering the domain name system messages. It is pretty technical, but it is actually very, very important for the blockchain. Cardano and Polkadot already implement the VRF function for block production, and we will have the same on Echelon blockchain. So stay tuned for that. That's all I have to say for my ambassadorial work. If we have a quick look at the markets, Bitcoin is pumping, Ethereum is pumping, uh, most of the crypto is pumping. It has passed $1 trillion market cap. Stock market lost $1 trillion in a day. So that's how early you are into this field. But my theory of 17.5 retest is still on. Nothing has changed in terms of macroeconomics. The war is still going on in Russia. UK economy is in the toilet. Uh, American economy is not yet in the toilet, but definitely in the gutter. Chinese real estate market still close to crash. Most of the economies are not doing really, really well. You have aggressive Fed, which again, these, these signals are because of the midterm elections in US. Plus our Doge father, who can forget our Doge father. Now, I was actually about to buy Doge just when the news came out. I wanted to put like $500, but then I became busy with Moon ambassadorial work and I completely forgot, but it was the easiest trade. The whole crypto market has been lifted because what Twitter is, is a platform for so many people and Twitter will implement, I can guarantee you, it will implement some sort of cryptocurrency. Pay, place your bet on which crypto it will be. Of course, it will be Doge and there will be other uh, payments like Bitcoin. And again, I'm gonna come back to the clunkiness of Bitcoin towards the end of the video. And one of the projects which I'm gonna present to you today solves that clunkiness problems. So I have not bought anything aggressively. This pump is just another bear market rally. Don't be fooled by it. I can be wrong. No one knows. No YouTuber knows. But I think this is in part fueled by midterm positivity. And this is in part fueled by Elon Musk buying Twitter. Every single YouTuber on the planet has covered it. So let's move on. Here's an interest, interesting article that actually Web3 is growing in online searches even more than Bitcoin. So if you look at the chart, Bitcoin searches are going down, Web3 searches are going up. And one of the companies I'm partnered in Web3 is obviously Opus Labs. Videos are available on my YouTube channel if you wanna learn more about Web3. I think there are so many Web2 companies that will come into Web3. Any company that is accelerating its adoption will gain tremendously. You just need to have one or two home runs uh, in, in finding such companies and you should be okay. And again, follow me. I will let you know. I had success, which is documented one video a week only, but I had gem after gem and gem. And if there is any uh, viewer here who has followed me on this journey, please do comment because YouTube algorithm does not promote me. It is horrendous. The views, A, it's bear market and B, uh, because I don't care a F about algorithm so it doesn't promote me. So please, I need your help. Fidelity Research actually finds that nearly 60% of investors who were surveyed want to invest in digital assets. When these guys gonna invest, they're gonna probably start with blue chips, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Now, another important thing about uh, this survey by, by Fidelity is they have now positive perception of digital assets. So we have actually moved from crypto is a scam, Bitcoin is a scam, to actually people doing their research on these digital assets. So again, you are so, so early. Find gems and stick with them. And stick with them for a longer period of time and you should be okay. Another crazy news, one of the biggest company, payment company is Visa. It has filed trademarks to basically start crypto uh, to crypto uh, services. It will have cryptocurrency products and I think they might even have a crypto wallet. PayPal already has crypto. Revolut already has crypto. Guys, please don't sleep on this. One of the stocks uh, that I used to cover, stock market trading days was, was TRCH. So we held those stocks until certain date. We got massive dividend shares of this company, MMLTP. So you can get this in trading 212 on an ISA account. So any earnings are tax free. It is crazy. So I have approximately 3000 pounds in one of my account 
which I didn't knew. Uh, I had completely forgotten. It's only one of the uh, subscribers texted me and said, have a look at MMTLP. Doesn't matter whether you are in crypto, this stock, you can use your TA on this if you're a day trader. Next few days will be a dream come true for you. So please do have a look. The 10 day uh, average volume on this stock is just through the roof. I'm not gonna cover it because I have completely moved to crypto, but I just wanted to give you guys a reminder that if you would have bought ERCH at my call and we made 10X on it, uh, we got this for free. So it's just exponential money printing exercise for me at the moment. If you do wanna keep up to date, I will recommend two channels here. So first one is Trading Secrets. It's run by a guy called Ali and he has been making video after video so please follow the guys if you are interested in this talk follow people who are dedicatedly making videos on them again there's another guy called Terry Yonker apologies if, if I pronounce your name wrong but again there is so many MM TLP videos so uh, I'm not gonna worry about it it's sitting in my account people are saying the short squeeze may push this stock to three figures it's free money for me so I'm not bothered but uh, some of the analysis is suggesting that this stock is primed for a stock squeeze. Uh, this is oil and gas exploration company. So they have found oil. Oil is hot. If they sell that particular land, this stock will be golden. There will be dividends probably if, if you hold this stock. And those dividends might be very, very valuable if they manage to sell the land. Not financial advice. Nothing in this video is financial advice. This is my research. Final thing I want to talk today is pick of the week is a cryptocurrency called Stacks. So just like many layer ones on Cosmos that we have been discussing, this is a layer one blockchain that actually helps Bitcoin. So you, I told you in the beginning, Bitcoin is clunky. Bitcoin is old. It's really, really difficult to transact. There is a trilemma there. So decentralization, scalability, and security. Bitcoin has decentralization, Bitcoin has security, but it has no scalability. However, Stacks solves that problem. I think this is one of the blockchains that has solved that trilemma. So they have a modular design. So the all time high is approximately $3. So that's almost 10x from here. It's a good company and I'll tell you why it's a good company. Uh, without even doing proper research, there's an easy way to spot this company. The 24 trading volume is even at a decrease of 40% is still seven more than 7 million, which is really, really good. Market cap is half a million. Fully diluted is just above half a million. So these are the type of projects that are uh, primed for a run in a bull market but they should be bought in a bear market. So total supply is 1.3 billion, which is already in circulation. Maximum supply is 1.8 billion. So again, you, if you want to invest and forget in some project, I would say Stacks is one of such project. Bitcoin has started to move. This has not yet moved as much as compared to Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin goes on a tear, this will go on a tear. So what is Stacks? Stacks is a layer one blockchain solution that is designed to bring smart contracts to Bitcoin. And that includes its security and stability. So everything that is done by dApps on Stacks, it is settled on the Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is the layer zero for this particular layer one blockchain. It came out of Y Combinator. I did my entrepreneurial education in Babson College in Boston. Every day we used to talk about Y Combinator. I don't think I need to tell you about uh, Winklevoss Twins. Really, really solid backers. And you can buy it on Binance. You can buy it on KuCoin. There is a link somewhere in description. If you don't have a Binance, I don't care. I've never promoted th those <laughs> for a link so i don't know i never ever earned anything anyways it is widely available on big sex centralized exchanges so the founders of the project are from princeton university munib ali and ryan shea so one is phd in computer science everything i have read and researched about this token uh, tells me it's a solid pick solid eat healthy get rich pick did you knew about stacks in your portfolio if you have it if you have any comments and also especially comments in the beginning comments about the stuff i have said in the beginning let's have a discussion leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video